Microsoft today released the latest version of the small language model, Cell M Phi 2, which has only 2.7 billion sets of parameters. So, in this video, we will learn what is Microsoft Phi 2, why Phi 2 is so small, and how to use Microsoft PHI 2, Hugin Face, and Langchain to create a super tiny chatbot. It is only about 38% the size of the most anticipated Meta Llama to 7 billion sets of parameters. But its performance is said to be comparable to that of Meta Llama to 7 billion sets of parameters. And Maestral 7B, I highly recommend you watch this video to the end, is a game changer in your chatbot that will realize the power of Microsoft PHI 2. What is Microsoft PHI 2? Microsoft Phi 2 SLM is trained using textbook quality data, which includes synthetic datasets, general knowledge, theory of mind, daily activities, and more. Microsoft's Phi 2 can also solve complex mathematical equations and physics problems. On top of that, it can identify a mistake made by a student in a calculation. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, Make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. So why Phi 2 is so small? The reason why the number of parameters of Phi 2 is kept so small is that only high quality data is used for training. In normal AI model development, a huge amount of data is used for training. The better the performance, but the number of parameters also increases accordingly. On the other hand, in the case of Phi 2, by using higher quality data for training, the number of parameters is kept small while maintaining high performance. Let's compare it with a meal. Normal AI model development eat a large amount of food regardless of the content to get the necessary nutrients. Nutrition is, you can take it, but of course, you will also gain weight. Development of Phi 2. Eat the minimum necessary amount of nutrient-rich food to get the nutrients you need. Nutrition is, because the amount of food consumed is small, the weight remains light. Nutrition equals performance. Weight equals number of parameters. In short, Phi 2 keeps the number of parameters small by using only the minimum necessary data that has been carefully selected rather than having it learn everything from data. Now let's get practical. We install the necessary packages and import dependencies in this video. We're going to use Google Colab. Let's install the required libraries. In the first code cell of your Colab notebook, Install the necessary libraries using the following code. As you can see in the screenshot, you would need to connect to the T4 GPU available in the free version of Colab. Let us first install the dependencies, then we import the dependencies. We initialize a tokenizer. Let's create a tokenizer using the Microsoft FITO model checkpoint. A tokenizer is used to convert text data into a format that the model can understand. Now let's configure quantization. This line creates a quantization configuration using the bits and bytes config class. It enables quantization with the EELM NT8 enable fp 32 CPU offload option to set to true, which indicates that the model should use INT8 quantization with CPU offloading for FP32 operations. Quantization is a technique used to reduce the memory and computation requirements of neural models while maintaining reasonable performance. Now let's configure quantization. This line creates a quantization configuration using the bits and bytes config class. It enables quantization with the EELM NT8 enable FP32 CPU offload option to set to true, which indicates that the model should use INT8 quantization with CPU offloading for FP32 operations. Quantization is a technique used to reduce the memory and computation requirements of neural models while maintaining reasonable performance. Let's set up a text generation pipeline using a pre-trained language model, base model, and a tokenizer with various configuration options such as maximum text length, temperature, top P sampling, and repetition penalty. Then we will create the prompt template object. This prompt template object in place 
you can use it to generate prompts by providing specific instructions for the instruction or placeholder, which can then be used with an LLM chain to obtain responses based on the provided instructions. So let's set up an LLM chain that combines a prompt template with a local language model pipeline and then uses it to generate a response to a specific question or instruction. And here are the results. Let's wrap up PHI2 is a small language model focused on security, compliance, and ethical development of language model. As AI continues to evolve, the contributions of PHI2 will undoubtedly shape the future of AI technologies. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.